Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Tia and the rest of our coaching team. And we're gonna go over this week's Simple and Sinister Herb workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have four stations. You'll have two exercises in the station. It's gonna be 40 seconds of hard work, 20 seconds to switch between exercises. You're gonna do three sets of each exercise and we're gonna rotate around the room just one time today. You ready? Okay, okay. so we're gonna start over here on the rowers. The rower's about power, not speed. So don't think about trying to do as many reps as fast as you can. Think about doing as many reps as powerfully as you can. Deep breath in on the way in, nice flat back, drive out, push that air out as you squeeze those shoulder blades here, every single pull as hard as you can. The second exercise, you're gonna come out of the, start out of the rower, you're gonna come over to our suspension trainers here, we're gonna work our delt fly. So, you're gonna get in a moving plank position here, arms out straight, glutes are squeezed tight. Now Tia's gonna pull herself up by going up in that wide position, Abs hold up nice and tight, nice and controlled all the way down. She's gonna push that air out. She pulls herself up, pushing her chest forward at the top. Notice how she's keeping those toes pulled up, so she's kind of leaning back in this the whole time, really making those upper or those rear delts work and that upper back muscles work here the entire time. Now, if you need to, you can put one foot back here to make sure that you're getting that full range of motion and lighten it up just a little bit if you need to. Nice job there, Tia. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach Matt over here. He's actually going to start with our bag clean and squats here. So you're going to get that sandbag set up right there in front of his feet. And he's going to nice flat back, drive up through those legs, yank that bag up over his hands onto his biceps, and he's going to go into a squat. So it's technically two moves here. Clean it, push those knees apart, deep breath in on the way down, push that air as you come back up. Deep breath in, push that air out, deep breath in, push that air out. Take your time, make sure you're doing every rep well. You're thinking about spreading the floor with your feet here. The second exercise, now Matt's already got that band around one ankle. He's gonna put it around the other ankle here. So this is probably the hardest thing you're gonna do in the whole workout today. And then you're gonna do some monster walk. So get that butt nice and low. Push those legs apart. The wider you go with those legs, the lower you stay, the more you're gonna work those glutes here. You're gonna take a few steps forward and a few steps back, just staying low the entire time. Notice how Matt's also taking his time where he's not rushing. He's gonna really work those glutes, a nice controlled tempo here, nice flat back and chest up. Nice job there, Matt. From there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach Carrie over here, and she's just staring at the wall. This isn't even the exercise. This is just how she gets started every day. Bro, we got our tall, kneeling, alternating band rows here. So Carrie's got nice white stance with her knees. Glutes are squeezed nice and tight, abs are walled up. She's holding that band, she's gonna alternate. So she's gonna squeeze that shoulder blade, pull those hands toward her ribs, not towards her armpit, but down toward her ribs, squeezing that shoulder blade. She's alternating each time. Deep breath in, push that air out as you row, bring it back, go to the other arm, squeezing those glutes tight the entire time here. The second exercise here, we're gonna work our push up. So push up plank position. Glutes squeeze nice and tight. She's gonna squeeze those shoulder blades all the way down. Push the ground away from her. She presses back up. You one more good one here, Carrie. She's got those glutes squeezed. Deep breath in. Push that air. She presses enough. If you need to, you go down from your toes. Lower those knees and press up from your knees here. You can also work from your knees or you can use the suspension trainer and do the chest press from this position as well. Or just hold that plank if you need to. Great job there, Carrie. And then from there, we're coming out to our last station with Coach Tia. And she's gonna start with our dumbbell triple presses. So two dumbbells, she presses with her right, presses with her left, and then presses both at the same time. So we got one press, two press, three press here. Abs are rolled up, glutes are squeezed tight, grab those shoes with your toes. As you're getting tired, if you need to, take a deep breath and get started again. When you're ready, you can always go lighter with those dumbbells if you need to, but challenge yourself with that weight to really get stronger here. The second exercise here is our ball lever crunches. So, you're gonna get set up so those hips are, those glutes are at the front of the ball. Now, T is gonna keep those arms straight, abs are rolled up, and now she's thinking about going straight up. So she's not crunching, like pulling her elbows in and rounding her back. She's trying to reach for the ceiling, and you're really gonna feel this in those abs as you work this one. Relax your back along that ball so you get a nice stretch with those abdominals, and then drive straight up, trying to reach for the ceiling every single time here. Okay, <laughs> there we go. That is our simple and sinister workout, simple and sinister workout for this week. Great job, everybody.